Hi everyone, my name's Tom and this is my book, The Caveman Next Door. Um, I thought I'd read it to you all. Is that alright? Yeah. So this is the first time I've done anything like this, so bear with me. I might make mistakes and I'll probably say mmm or uh quite a lot. Uh, so please forgive me. Okay. So let me introduce you to the characters. This is Og, the caveman. And he goes, Og, Og. And this is Penny, his best friend. And every time I do Og, Og, I want you to do it with me. Okay? Should we read? Yeah. Great. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. <laughs> Penny lived on a street, just like any other. But recently, it had changed a little. A caveman had moved in next door. It felt a bit odd at first. He always cooked his dinner on a fire outside. He didn't have a TV or wear any socks. And all of his furniture was made of either sticks or stones. All he would do is grunt. It sounded like og og. Can you all do that? Og og. He often looked a little lost. So one day after school, Penny decided to show him around. Let's go to the library, said Penny. It was her favourite place. It seemed like a good start. Og, Og, Og agreed. Off they go. Uh oh. You can learn all sorts of things from books, such as new words, said Penny. Like Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hmm, maybe that's a bit too difficult for Og. What about mackerel or wizard? They're good words. No, Og! We don't eat the books, we read them. There he is, eating his books. I don't think we're quite that desperate in the lockdown yet, are we? The librarian was very annoyed. She chased Penny and Og out of the library. Stop eating my books. Sorry, he shouted. Og seemed upset. Penny thought, a nice ride on the bus might cheer him up. She always enjoyed sitting on the top deck at the front. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's the best place to sit on a bus. I definitely think so. Oh no, Og, get down, cried Penny. We sit inside the bus. There she is, saying, calm down. There's the bus driver, he's very annoyed. Big bus, Og is saying up there. The bus driver was so cross that he refused to let them on the bus. Oh no. Og got it wrong again. <clears throat> Og felt very sorry for getting it wrong again. Don't worry, Og, said Penny. It's a lovely sunny day. Let's take a walk through the park instead. Og loved being surrounded by nature and seeing all the different animals. Penny tried to teach him some of their names, but then... Og spotted a fountain. Og, drink! Oh no! Og, no! That's not for drinking, cried Penny. Uh-oh. But who's seen them? Uh oh The park ranger was very annoyed and it took a lot of explaining from Penny to calm her down. Uh oh, she looks really cross. Og looked so sad that Penny thought a nice lunch might cheer him up and it would be a good opportunity to teach him about table manners. Do we all know table manners? I hope so. Og doesn't know. Look at that mess. 
Og was trying his best, but his table manners weren't so good just yet. He ate the napkins, spilt his drinks, and put his arms in the tomato sauce. What this? said Og, looking at the salt shaker. He then threw it over his shoulder with a, th with a shrug. The waiter was furious. There he is. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> the waiter was furious. He gave them the bill and pointed to the door. Get out of my restaurant. Poor Og. He didn't fit in at all. Don't worry, Og. We'll try again tomorrow, said Penny. It's getting late. Let's go home. Og so sad. Og felt miserable, and Penny really didn't know what to do. Oh no. <clears throat> Bright and early the next morning, Penny knocked on Og's cave. As she walked in, she saw that the walls were covered with beautiful drawings of all the adventures they had shared together. You are talented, said Penny. Tank you, replied Og with a big smile. Pictures of all their adventures together. Ooh, there we go. Then Penny had an idea. Tomorrow was show and tell at school. She could tell everyone about Og and he might even learn some new words. The next day, Penny and Og arrived at school, feeling extremely excited. Today, I have brought in my next door neighbour, Og. He's a caveman, explained Penny. Hello, everyone, said Og. Nice to eat to you all. Og is quite handy with a spear. He can make furniture using almost any material. There he is, helping pick up the recycling and making one of his famous chairs. And nearly, um, oh, excuse me, and he is really good at painting. Og, no, not on the walls. Uh oh, oh dear, cried Penny. Og was really upset to have caused such chaos at Penny's school. The children love the classroom's new look, though. The head teacher wanted to see Og and Penny in his office. Uh-oh, Penny thought. I found these interesting creations, said the head teacher. Um, Mr Og, would you like to stay a little longer and teach? The uh, the children a thing or two about the natural world? Yes, Og would love to, exclaimed Og. We could even keep the pictures on the wall for a bit, suggested the head teacher. Well done, Og, cheered Penny. Og very happy. From that day onwards, Og became the new natural world teacher. He showed eager children his caveman skills. Careful, fire hot. Everyone loved his lessons. And Og learned a lot from the children too. Like how to put on shoes. Make lace tight. High five. And instead of the caveman next door, he slowly became Og, the friend next door. Morning, Og. Morning, Penny. The end. I hope you liked it. Um, sorry for all the mistakes. This is the first time I've done this, so I um, hope it wasn't too wonky for you. Um, so I hope you enjoyed and uh, I am going to post some extra bits and bobs, maybe some drawing activities later on in the week. 
Uh, so you can draw your own og, or maybe I'll do a line drawing of him and you can colour him in. Anyway, I'll have a think and I'll get it up online soon. Um, thanks for watching, everyone.